Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about six things that you should or should not eat or drink as a singer. Now these are things that I try to follow by as close as I can, so I decided I thought as a teacher I would post some of these. So let's go ahead and let's get started, shall we? Okay guys, so we're going to dive right into it. The first thing is dairy. You don't want to have a lot of dairy in your diet when you're a singer. I know we all love queso with our chips. I know we all love pizza. I know we love all these things. Trust me, I do too. But dairy can cause a bunch of acid reflux problems, which can end up causing a lot of damage to your vocal folds if it gets out of hand or your vocal cords, they're the same thing. It can cause a lot of damage, it can burn them, and some of these damages can be permanent. And it also thickens the mucus that is around your vocal cords that keeps things nice and lubricated. But if there's too much, it causes tension. And we don't want to have a bunch of tension going on because that's really not good as a singer to have. You don't want to have any tension in your body. I'll have another video about that coming up later okay the next thing that you really want to avoid is sugar sugar can cause excess phlegm which is another word for mucus and it wears you down quickly sugar you always get this like little sugar high whenever you drink like a large cup of coffee which is also because of caffeine or when you drink a soda, which is also a little bit because of caffeine, but you get this sugar rush and you go and you go and you go and you go and you're good for like maybe 30 minutes to maybe an hour. But after that, you wear out. You don't have any more energy left. And when you're singing or performing a show, you really need to have that energy because if you don't have the energy, your show is just not gonna be that good. Your performance won't be that good. You might get flat. That happens a lot whenever you don't have enough energy into your voice. You won't be on pitch as well. You really just, you want to avoid having a lot of sugar. And the next thing that you really want to avoid is a lot of caffeine. For some of the same reasons. You can also get really tired when your caffeine runs out. However, caffeine is also a diuretic which means you're gonna be going to the restroom more, which means you are gonna get dehydrated very easily. You don't wanna get dehydrated because then you have all this dryness going on and it's just not gonna be a good sound. And we really want to have that good sound. It also constricts your muscles, not just your throat muscles, but your muscles in general to have that caffeine in your body. That's just how your caffeine and your muscles kind of work. You get that energy, but your muscles get constricted and you get just a little tight. So you want to avoid having excess amounts of caffeine in your diet. Now, I love my coffee in the mornings too. Sometimes I absolutely have to have my coffee in the mornings, especially as a teacher. But you really just want to avoid having an excessive amount. The next thing is chocolate. Chocolate is a very, very hard one to get rid of. It contains caffeine and sugar. Two of the things we just talked about. Chocolate, we all love it. But we have to cut down on it. Too much of anything is a bad thing. Now, I'm not saying cut these out of your diet completely. That's, I'm not saying do that. What I'm saying is practice moderation, okay? The next thing is fried foods. You don't wanna have a bunch of fried food in your diet. Oil with excess fat can inhibit your vocal cords. It can really just like gunk up everything in here and it just, it causes you to have a very tight sound that you just don't want. You really want to just not have that tension in your body at all because it's going to cause you tension when singing and speaking really and fried foods can also cause acid reflux acid reflux is a big thing that as singers we want to avoid because it can cause 
lasting damage to your vocal cords if you are not careful. So you really want to make sure that you are taking care of your acid reflux if you have acid reflux. If you have it, you can try to control it by your diet. But if you are still unable to control it with your diet, go see your doctor. Talk with them about your acid reflux. They can help you. They can see what's causing it, whether it's diet or for some other reason that you might have going on in your body. If you have acid reflux, there's one of two things going on. You either have something going on with your diet that you need to change, or you need to take and you need to go see a doctor about something going on inside of your body, okay? And the next one, the last one, what not to drink or eat. There is more on this list, but I only narrowed it down to six. It's gonna be a bit surprising to you. Ice water. Now, you, I know ice water is the best way to drink water, like taste-wise. Though some people would argue that water has no taste. Wrong. It does. Ice water, you really want to avoid when you're a singer, especially right before or right after a performance because it constricts your muscles. Think of it this way. When you sprain your ankle or when you do you know, anything else, if your muscle sore and you ice it, you're constricting the blood flow to that muscle, which reduces the swelling, but you're also doing that to your vocal cords every time you drink ice water. So it's really not good for you to have that because it's causing more tension and it's constricting the blood flow, even just a little bit, okay? So, think about that next time you drink ice water. And now we're on to the good stuff. This is what you should eat or drink as a singer. Fresh fruit. Now this one comes with a caution. Fresh fruit contains fiber, vitamins, and nutrients, all that are very important for you. However, you want to eat your fruit, not drink it. And you also want to be cautious of the fruit that you're eating because a lot of it has acid, which can cause acid reflux, like I said earlier. So be very careful with the kind of fruit that you're ingesting and putting in your diet, okay? And make sure you eat it because if you're drinking like apple juice or stuff like that, you're losing out on a bunch of the fiber and vitamins and nutrients Fruit juices have more sugar than anything else. So really, it goes back to me saying with the sugar, you get that sugar rush and then you get tired because your sugar runs out, you don't have energy, and then when you're singing, you don't have energy in your voice. So, make sure you're eating your fruit, not drinking it. And the next is chicken or fish. Chicken and fish is high in protein. Now, me personally, I don't like fish. Even though I grew up in South Carolina, we're very really big on our seafood down here, but I don't like fish. Chicken I love, but I'm not a fish guy. Chicken and fish is very high in protein, which gives you energy. It's a good alternative opposed to having sugars. One of the reasons I like the keto diet so much is because you're very low on your carbs, you're very low in your sugar it's mostly protein and fats that you're ingesting so it's high in protein it gives you energy and as a singer or a performer in general you want to have a lot of energy and a lot of singing okay so the next one you really want to do vitamin a now vitamin a it's very important because it keeps your mucous membranes healthy in other words, you're not producing too much, you're not producing too little. Now, vitamin A, you can actually find in yellow veggies like sweet potatoes and squash, which I like my sweet potatoes, I'm not really a big fan of squash, or in fruits such as mangoes, melon, and peaches. So, maybe put some of that in your diet if you're feeling, you know, like you just got a little too much or a little too little mucus, which I don't think anyone's ever complained of having a little too little mucus. That's something we'll actually talk about later on in another video is mucus production and why it's very important for your vocal health 
Okay. Now we're going to get on to the next half of the list. Nuts. Nuts is a great snack. It's a great source of protein, but you want to opt out for the salted ones, okay? You want to try to find unsalted or lightly salted. The reason I say that is because salt can dry you out very easily, okay? So having too much salt in your diet, it's not that good for you, okay? A little bit's okay, but just don't go too crazy with it. Whenever you have your nuts, though, always pair it with something to wash down that salt. And the next one is honey. Honey can help coat your throat. It can help soothe it. You want to be careful, though, because it does have a lot of sugar, which can cause some adverse effects. It's got antibacterial and antimicrobial features in it as well, which is good for you because it helps keep you healthy. Okay? Honey is really good to mix with uncaffeinated tea. Uncaffeinated. You can have that the morning of a performance it's really well or you can have it the night after your performance to kind of help soothe your throat after performing okay but like i said be careful with it because it does have a lot of sugar and the final and personally what i think is the best thing is room temperature water i know a lot of people do not like their room temperature water but it's the best thing to drink it keeps you hydrated and it doesn't constrict your vocal cords because it's not cold, okay? So, be very careful with your water. Opt for the room temperature. I know it doesn't taste as good and it's not as enjoyable as your cold water, but it really is the best thing. You want to stay hydrated. That's what keeps you in tip-top shape. All right, guys, so thank you so much for joining me on this video. I very much appreciate it if you watched all the way to the end and you are currently watching me right now. Make sure to check out my other stuff that I got going on and make sure to come see me on my streams. I try to stream as much as I can while, you know, teaching and working on a master's degree, so it might not be too much. So the best way to find out when I'm streaming is to subscribe to the channel and hit the little notification button and it will automatically give you that notification. So if you're here for gaming content, go check that out. Or if you're just here for my music education content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out. It keeps you notified whenever I post new videos. Like I, you know, have mentioned, I am working on my master's degree. So things might get a little uh, iffy when it comes to my posting schedule now, but I will be posting content as much as I can. I will be here to help as much as I can. Also, I am now offering online music lessons. So if you want to learn more about how music works, if you are wanting to learn how your voice works better, or if you're wanting to maybe learn a new instrument like the piano or the guitar, I can help you out with both of those. You can email me at brelandvoicelessons at gmail.com. I will have that in the description of this video. Shoot me an email if you ever want to link up and I can give you some lessons. My rate is $15 for a 30 minute lesson and $25 for a whole hour lesson, okay? So once again, that is 15 for 30 minutes, 25 for an hour, okay? So guys, thank you so much. Get out there, be musical, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Take care.